Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's tutorial for Tutorial Wednesday is I'm going to show you around the website called The Studio. If you've seen my previous videos, you've seen that I've talked about this website. You just earn credit to win lots of cool stuff, like rings and shoes and clothes, and all kinds of stuff. So let's get into that video right now. Okay guys, we're on the Lucidia um, website here. As you can see, it's www.lucidia.com slash login. When you first go to this page, you can either log in as it has here, or you can go over here to the sign up. Um, if you don't have an account, you would go here to sign up, click the account, click that link, and it'll take you to where you need to sign up. And you will have a couple of choices here. You can either do it this way, where you just put in a username, email and password, or you can connect with Facebook. Totally up to you. But since I already have an account on here, I'm going to go into the login section. Koji doesn't, doesn't know where to lay right now, so he's just walking around. Yes, it's bad, but he's just ignoring it right now. Okay, as you can see, I have my username and password or login with Facebook. But since my computer already remembered my information. I'm just going to click login and it'll take you to my page on this website. Okay, and as you can see here, this is where I am. And up top here, we have search, browse, a list item, which I do sometimes. And this is how much credits I have at the moment. Um, I just sold a ring that I couldn't use anymore. And uh, amazingly, it sold for 10,000 credits. So I should be getting that credit soon. Okay. So if you want to search for an item, you just go in here, search what you want, or you can browse. And on here, it has all kinds of categories. It has antiques, art, baby, books, cameras, cars, vehicles and parts, cell phones, clothing, shoes, accessories, collectibles, computers, networking, crafts, electronics, health and beauty, holiday and seasonal, home and garden, jewelry and watches this is where the one I go to the most, um, movies and TV shows, music and instruments, pets, sporting goods, toys and hobbies, video games and controls and other stuff. And there's some other stuff here that I really don't visit that much, so I'm not really going to tell you about it. So let's go to the one where I go to the most, the jewelry and watches section. And we're going to wait for that to load. It just depends on your wife, I, your Wi-Fi, and how fast it is to see how fast your page will load. It's faster or slower than mine. But we're just going to do with what we got right now. It's what I do every day. I just deal with it. Nothing I can do about it. Just deal with it. Okay. So here we are on the jewelry and watches section. Still waiting for my little page to... There we go. Okay. So up here you see jewelry and watches and there are over 25,000 results. Um, here's the section you can do to make the search result go down. You can have body, bracelets, charms, earrings, necklaces, rings, scents, watches, and others. If you don't know what you want, you can go down here. Here you can get uh, get it now. Um, basically, it's like this one right here. Um, there's a get it now, which costs a lot of credits, which I think is insane. I think it's insane to ask you to get it now for 500,000 credits. That's insane to me. But that's basically what the GIN is now. So you will click it and it will take down the results quite a bit. So we're just going to wait for that to load and you'll see so we started with over 25,000 results when we just went to basic jewelry and watches and now as you can see the results is down to a little bit over 7,000. As you can see there's a lot of items here that um, has GINs. Some have bids on it as well but mostly have like a GIN with it. Um, I have done GINs um, on my auctions, but I don't make it so outrageous where nobody wants to 
even tried to get it. Um, mine always stay around 10,000. So you can see there's all kinds of GINs here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to unmark this so it's not just GINs in general. So we're going to wait for another load and I'll show you a couple other things you can do to narrow down your search if you don't know what to look for at first. But this is a very easy website. You'll get the hang of it in a matter of minutes. No problem. Okay. So now we're back to 25,000 um, results search. Just waiting for my little page to finish loading here. You hear that sound? That's Koji. I don't know what's wrong with him right now. He has his bed right, right next to him. But he wants to lay on the floor and whine. Still waiting for it to load. Okay, so if you don't want to do the GIN results, all you do is go down where it says delivery. Ships to US, you can do free shipping only, local pickup, and digital delivery. Um, I always do free shipping because I don't want to pay for it. <laughs> so I do free shipping and it will narrow down the search quite dramatically. I think he's going to go in his bed. I hope so. Your warning bugs me right now. Go in your bed. Okay. So I'm waiting for the page to load and it will and you will see you have from twenty-five thousand search results and this will tell us how much search results we have now. So I guess I'm just waiting for my page to load here. <clears throat> and as you can see we have seven thousand eight ninety-three results. And see, there's a lot that ju are just bids and a lot that are just GINs, which is get it now. Um, as you can see, there's this belief earrings. They are back. Um, so far, the bid is up to 25.20. That's not bad for me. Um, when you're on this website, you should have a budget limit. For a budget limit, this is the... This is the max you're going to pay for any item. I have a budget limit. It's um, 10000 because it will take me up to a week to get that much in the first place. So we'll go down and I'll show you all kinds of little goodies they have. So like for this bracelet, there's no way I'm going to even get up there in 13 hours. It tells you the hours what time that will be, where it's from, and if it's free shipping. If you click the free shipping, it should get it there anyway. So that's what you do when you're just searching for something. Okay, now I'm going to show you how you earn credits. Um, I'll show you how I earn credits and other ways you can earn credits. It's a very simple, very easy thing to do. Okay, so you go over here. Um, so where it will have your name right here. You just click the down arrow. You go to your viewport. We're going to go to My Lycidium, which is the first one right there. You just click that, and it will take you to your page, and you should be able to see how you can earn credits. Like I said, it's very easy to do. I'll show you my easiest way. My lazy way, I call it, because I don't have to do much to get these credits. It's just very time consuming, but I can do it while I'm doing other things at the same time. So we're just going to wait for it to load. Hopefully it will load soon. I hope. Okay, I see it loading now. That was Cody, he just yawned. Okay, so this is your page, like you saw when we when I first logged in. This is your page. Um, as soon as it finishes loading, I'll explain the stuff on your left-hand corner. I'll explain how every of that works. Some are pretty simple to understand, some may not, so I'm going to explain all of it for you. Okay. As you can see right here where it says my activity, right here, 
you can see my watching, my listings that is closed, you can see it's at $10,000. So right here is what I explained in the left-hand corner of what I'm going to explain to you in a few seconds as soon as my page finishes loading. My internet is slow today. I do not know why. Okay, so as you see here, I'm going to explain to you all the things that are on the left side of your screen. So here's my account. First, we're going to talk about messages. This is messages either you will give to people if they buy your item or messages the buyer gives to you and you go back and forth with the buyer, stuff like that. This is your listings page. Um, let me show you the messages, what they look like. You have inbox, you have sent, and you have trash. It's like a basic email account, basically. So here is your listings. I have two because I had to relist that ring twice. So it will, say, it will tell you if you have any open, um, any scheduled, which I haven't known how to do that one yet. Um, it will say if ended in a winner, which I have one. I'm waiting for them to say that I got the item. And ended without a winner. So it just depends if you get it and answer the one or not. I say here's listings you bid on. It will say if there's any open, if you're winning any, if you won any, or if you lost. Trust me, you're gonna lose a lot of listings at first. Um, raffles. These are raffles that if you're on the site and you have signed up. It will send you emails and say, this is what this week or this month's raffle is about. Um, it'll tell you you're part participating in one, um, if you won one or if you have lost. And I have not won one yet. And this is your watch list. This is a watch. You need to have a watch list unless you're very good with dates and times, which I am not. So I have my watch list and... Um, it just tells me when a listing's ending, which if you have a mobile device, it's available for your mobile device. It's the same name. Um, and this will notify you when a listing is going to end soon. So here I have two listings that I'm watching, as you can see up here. And I don't think I'm gonna get that one. That one's over 10,000, that's over my budget. Um, raffles and closed listings. Next is feedback. It says if you need to give feedback, which is a good thing to watch for if you need to give feedback. Um, if you received any feedback and if you've given any feedback. So that's what the feedback is. Comments. Trust me, you're going to have a lot of comments if you sell things. So this one's if you haven't replied to any comments, which mine is zero because as soon as I get a comment, I reply. Um, comments you've made. Next is users. Um, on this, you can fan a user if you like them. Um, I have fanned 215. I have four referrals, and I'll show you what referrals are in a second. Um, referral goals and blocked. I had to block a couple of people because they were saying nasty things, and I just don't put up with that. Uh, here's Achieved and deleted. Um, so I have a hundred and because those are one are auctions that I won and I just didn't want to see it up here anymore. Um, there's deleted listings. There are deleted raffles, and that's what's on that part. So next part, see here you can win, earn two hundred credits for just going through this, and I'm going to show you how to do that in just a second. Next is credit. Here's credit activity. You can buy credits, which I never do because that's just wasting money on free stuff. Um, you can earn free credits. You can watch videos for free credits is what I do most of the time. You can take surveys. You can do tasks. Um, I don't do tasks because some of them are harder than they say they are. Um, save money with daily deals. I don't do that one either. Here's your account settings. You can edit your profile sharing and privacy settings, notification settings, um, save shopping addresses. Like if you have more than one shopping address, you wanna save them both. So when you win an auction, you can decide which address you want to go to. 
but you should have your address already saved on here anyway. So next is saved meetup information. I've never done one of those because I can't really go meet up with anybody at this point. Here you can verify your account. I'm going to show you how to do that in just a second. Here are your goals. I don't complete these goals. I can't because they want you to sell lots of items at once. Um, perks, I haven't done anything like that. The City of Plus, I think it's like for people who want to pay you for stuff. And your saved searches. Um, for us, let's go to saved searches. I'm going to show you what mine are and how you can get your saved searches. Okay, so we're going to my saved searches. Mine are very weird, but that's just me. Okay. I'm a weird person and I just like getting really cool stuff. Okay. The first one is wedding rings. No, I'm not getting married. It's just I like to see cool um, wedding, wedding rings. And if I like them, I will bid on them. Does not mean I'm getting married at all. Um, I have yin yang because that's kind of, if you've seen my um, cover or my little square thing that shows up in my videos. Um, yin yang is good and evil, sun and dark, stuff like that. I feel very connected to that symbol. That's why I have it on here. Um, jewelry, I just use jewelry in general. Um, I have high heels. I love my high heels and I actually want a pair of high heels off here. Um, corsets, um, I got very interested in the corset and I haven't found any that I can win yet because they keep going over my budget. But I'm hopeful and I don't give up. Okay, so in order for me to show you um, how to get a save search, I'm just going to delete this one and I'm going to search it over again. So I'm just deleting that just like that. It's that simple. Okay, so then you want to go up here to your search box. And we're going to put in wedding. I can't see what I'm saying. Wedding rings. And then either hit the search button or enter. I choose enter because it's most easiest for me to do. But it's up to you which you do. So we're just waiting for that to search. And then what you want to do. And see, it shows all kind of wedding stuff like that. I know I'm weird. I'm searching wedding rings. Ah, but that's just me. I'm a weird person in general. So, okay. So then you want to go down here to your little, what you want. Do you want it ships to U.S.? I always get free shipping. So always make sure that it's checked before I save it. So then we're just going to wait for that to load. And then I'll show you the next steps to do a saved search. Okay, so then, see this little blue icon right here? It says save search. And if you want to save this, because what this does, it gives you daily emails. Every day you get an email saying that our new search is for your, what you asked to see. You can also change this to anything that's popular, ending soon, newly listed, lowest price, highest price. I always ask for newly listed. So it will load that again. And you want to do all this before you save it. Because if you don't, you'll get stuff that like you're supposed to pay for shipping and all that, which I don't want to do. That's just me. I'm trying to save money. Um, so then when this finishes loading, I'm going to show you the next steps to save it. Okay. So then you go over here where it says save search. You just click that. And it'll ask you for a name again. So what I'm going to do is going to go up here. I'm just going to copy this, copy, and we're just going to paste it. It's better than typing it twice. And see, it's already up there, so we just go there. And we're going to click Email Me with New Search Results and click Save. It's that simple. It's really simple to get used to this um, website. Trust me, I've been using this for a few years now. And I just love it so much. Um, 
Okay, so the next one I'm going to show you is how to earn credits. And what you're going to do, so you're going to go up here where your name is, you're going to click the down arrow, and then you're going to go to My Lucidia, and I'll show you how you can earn some credits. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how you can earn credits. You can either go down here where it says credits and just click. This you can do once a day. You just get 200 credits for just doing this. It's very easy. You don't have to sign up for anything at all. You just click get 200 credits. Why not? It's free credits. You don't have to do much for it. I love it. So it's going to go to the page where you have to go. Either you, if you want to sign up for something, sign up, or you can just skip it. Either way, you get 200 credits. It's awesome. Okay, so I'm going to go over here. Cody's not happy with me because we're taking a little bit longer than usual. But, you're just going to deal with it, boo boo. Okay. So it's loading the um, special offers here. So I'll wait for this to load. Um, after this, I'm going to show you how you can add items um, to your watch list, which is very simple. How you can look at items and ask questions to the buyer, which you don't always have to message them to do that. Okay, we're almost there. Just waiting for this to load. Okay, so as you can see, you can either sign up for this or you can skip it. Even if you skip something, you will still get the 200 credits. You have to sign up for a thing on here. So this is what I do. I just click skip to all of these and I still get 200 credits. And you'll see after you skip all of these or you submit to one, totally up to you, um, that it will tell you, you have earned 200 credits. See, there's stuff like kids and all kinds of stuff. I have no children, so that's not important to me. I just have my dog. That's it. There's yay, get coupons. Do you want to sign up for coupons? Totally cool. It's just I have my ways. And see, that's all the offers there. And now we're just going to wait for it to load, and it will tell you you have earned 200 credits just by skipping all those offers. Like I said, you can do this once a day, only once a day, sadly. I wish it was more. But it's once a day, you get 200 credits. That's really cool. I'm gonna show you the other ways you can get credits before I take you to a listing and show you how to add it to your watch list, which is amazing for me. I love my watch list. Okay, so wait for it to load. It should tell you that you have earned 200 credits in just a second. As soon as it finishes loading here. I'm sorry, my internet is slow today. I think I know what the problem is. It's because we have lots of devices that use the Wi-Fi, so it's a little bit slow. But just bear with me. I'll show you how to get through this entire thing. It's very easy and it's very cool to have this if you don't want to go to like Amazon or something and pay like over a lot of money, like fifty to a hundred dollars on an item. We can go in here. And just earn credits and get the same thing. Um, I also want to tell you on here if you pick up um, any kind of jewelry, um, there's a 50 50 chance that it's gonna be real jewelry or custom jewelry. Um, I'll also link the um, the video of how the little trick I've learned to keep from my rings turning my finger screen in the description below. So you can check that out. If you have any rings that turn your finger screen or you get rings from this website that aren't what they say they were, sometimes the sellers lie a bit. I do too, but it's not for like stuff like that. But I'll also link that video in the description below so you can see how I get my rings to stop turning my finger screen for a little while anyway. Oh my goodness, it's taking a while, isn't it? 
I'm so sorry, my internet is so slow right now. I wish it wasn't this slow, but there's nothing I can do about it. And just wait for it to load. That's all I can do right now. So please bear with me. Don't stop watching because my internet is slow. I want to show you everything this website gives you. And hopefully you will stick around to see all the little features you get from this website. So this is a cool website to have. Um, I have won a lot of stuff on here. I have sold a lot of stuff on here. So you can also sell things on here to get credits. It's, I've sold things on here like that ring you just saw. I sold it for uh, 10,000. That was the get it now price. So I didn't expect people to get the get it now price, but it was up there if I needed to do it. If somebody wanted to just get it now before the, um, sale ended. And I'll also show you how you can list an item and all the features that has as well. Again, I apologize for my internet. I don't know what's going on with it. Oh, gee, stop whining now. I'm trying to get it to work with me here. I apologize again for my internet being so slow. I'm hoping that it will load here in a few minutes. But again, I apologize. Okay, here we go. As you can see, it's loading and it should say in a few seconds, um, if we earn to 200, see, the credits are changing from 50 to 11, I believe it was. So it should go up 200 credits. And again, we have to wait for my internet to speed up here. Okay, as you can see right here on the credits, it says 54.11, and it was 52.11. Again, I'm so sorry for my internet being so slow. I have no idea what's going on with it right now, but it needs to stop. Like, seriously. Okay, on this blue area you see right here, um, it says you can refer your friends to get 10,000 free credits. The way that works is you refer your friends and they have to say that you referred them for you to get the credits. Okay guys, I'm gonna show you the rest of the credits you can do. As you saw, um, I did the 200 credits, which you just either submit for a special offer or you can skip it, which is what I do all the time. And as you can see, it went from 52.11 to 54.11. So down here is the credits. You can view your credit activity. It'll tell you what you did to earn a credit and how many credits you are given for that. So I'm going to show you that. So I'm going to show you how you get your credits. I'm going to show you how to add an item to your watch list. And I'm going to show you how you can verify your account. As you can see, it says my credit balance will be 15411 because my pending credits is 10000 from the ring I just sold. 
but my current balance, my credits available, as it says, is 5411. I'm sorry, people don't understand. I'm trying to make a video right now. Um, as you can see, this is pending. Um, the offer I just made that you just saw me do is worth 200 credits, like that. Okay, then you go back to increase. You can buy credits. I'm going to show you what that looks like. Like I said, I don't buy my credits. Um, I just watch videos and do the 200 credits every day. So that's what I do to get my credits. Nothing like that. See right here, you can say you want to buy 51 credits. You got to pay $5, $10, and so on. Um, this is what they accept. I don't think they accept PayPal. If you have PayPal, I think it's just these, um, credit cards right here. They will accept. I never try this because I don't do it. It is just a waste of time in my opinion and a waste of money. Okay. So now we're going to go to earn free credits and it will show you what credits you can earn that are completely free. And I Love that. It's free. That is my dog. He's having tongue issues again. I don't know what causes it, but it happens from time to time. Okay, as you can see, you can do special offers here, like it showed when we did the 200 credits. Um, just waiting for it to load. It's loading a little bit faster now. Thankfully. <laughs> Because my patients are wearing thin on my internet right now. Well, not my internet, on my computer in general. Um, but I'm just going to deal with it. Because that's what I do. So you can go to here. As you can see, there's no um, items at this moment to go through. You can go to P-Labs. These are mostly um, surveys, basically. You just go down here and do a survey, which I don't do. I don't have that kind of time. You go to this one again surveys this one there's nothing here for ad wall there's nothing for that one so here you can go down here and do a little something there's this one which i did a few times but there's not like many very videos or stuff like that i can do on here there's this one Yeah, it's because I have ad block online because I don't like to listen to ads. But we're not going to really deal with that right now. And this one, you can just go down here, go through some of these and see if you want to do. See, there's click, mobile. There's mobile apps you can do if you want to. Um, there's videos, which is something I do a lot. So next, we're going to go down to watch videos for credits. Go ahead to that tab. And I'm going to show you what videos you can do if you want to. If you don't, it's totally cool. I'm not going to get angry at you. It's totally up to you. Um, so let's see if we have any videos today. Um, it says no. That is so not cool. Okay. I'm going to show you. You see there's four tabs. And I'm going to show you. You can click on each tab to see if there's any videos. Um, this is kind of surprising for me because I haven't been watching videos that often lately. So we go here, videos, awesome. So these videos, nothing. And there's nothing there. It's normal. Sometimes they have videos, sometimes they don't. But I depend on that 200 credit more than anything. Okay, next we're going to do some surveys. I'm going to show you what they show when they do surveys. Which I don't do that often unless they're like under five minutes, which they're normally not. So that's why I don't usually do surveys. So I'm just waiting for it to load again. And it should pull up some surveys here. There we go. It's loading some surveys for you. Um, as you can see, there are five tabs on this one. Um, like I said, I don't normally do surveys because they take a lot longer than I have time for. See, there's this one. I'm waiting for my internet to load. There we go. There's this one. Um, this one, which has nothing. 
Bad wall has nothing. Offer has nothing. Okay. See, some have um, some surveys you can take, some don't. Here is the task credits. Um, I don't recommend you do this one. I have tried to do this one so many times. But um, the task was incredibly harder than it said in the instructions that it would be. It would say, oh, this is easy, but it would take me like 30 minutes to figure it out because their instructions are not easy to understand. So it's showing me, trying to show me something here. Um, you have to like do the tour and all of that, but I don't do task credits. Um, so we'll go back to my Lycidia. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. It is just the way I pronounce it. It might be pronounced a different way. And I might be screwing up really bad. And if that is so, I am very sorry for that. It's just I've never heard anybody pronounce this website. So I'm not uncertain. I'm not completely sure how it is pronounced. So then we're going to go back down to the credits. And I think there's one more in the credits that I'm going to show you um, that you can do if you choose to. Soon as my internet loads. I thought I figured it out, but I guess not. Code you don't. Don't do it. Okay, I think we're almost there. I thought I had this figured out, but I guess not. So I'm just, I'm just hoping that you are still with me at this point. And I hope that you continue to watch this tutorial all the way through. So you know everything about this website like I do. Okay, there's special save with daily deals. Um, this one's a little new. I haven't seen this one here before. Um, so we're going to see this one together for the first time. Because I have no idea what this is about. I've never seen it here before. Um, amazing limited time deals earned with every purchase. Oh. Well, that sounds like you've got to buy stuff. And I don't do that. Um, and I don't see anything down here. Yeah, these are badges. I'm going to tell you what those are about in just a second. Okay. So I've shown you how you earn credits, how you search things on there, how you sign up. Um, you can edit your profile, very simple stuff like there. Um, saved shipping addresses. I want to show you how to save a shipping address if you've never done it before on any site. If you have, then you pretty much know the basics of a saved address. Okay, as you can see, it has my saved address up here. And I will tell you in just a second how you can add a second or third address, depending how many you have where you live. Okay, we're in the shipping addresses. And I'm going to show you how you do a shipping address. You just put your first name, last name, your address line, if you have one. Just put one if you have two, you put two. You put your city, your state, and your zip code. Are you in the United States or outside? And then you just validate the address. So I'm going to show you. I am going to see if it will let me do the same address. So I can see where it says everything I do. Um, yeah, let's do that one. And we click validate address. And then it will ask you to confirm your address. So this is all the information you put in is correct. Does your address look correct? If yes, then click yes. If no, click no. So there's something missing. Click yes. And then you save address. It's pretty much all there is to it. Okay, now we're going to go down. So I showed you how to do saved shipping addresses. Um, let's do the saved 
meetup information. Um, I've never done a meetup information um, because I never met up with any of the buyers. So let's do this together like before with the deals. So I'm just waiting for it to load. It shouldn't load fast. I'm sorry, that's my alert system. Um, they're being a pain. Okay, so we're back here, the meetup addresses. This is where I'm assuming you would put the address where you pick something up on the saved numbers that you would do if you're going to go meet somebody and pick up an item, which I never do. So it's never been a thing I needed to do because I always had it free shipping. That way it would get here either by USPS, um, FedEx, UPS, any of those carriers. But that's just like the way I like to do it. Um, next, we're going to verify the account. I'm going to show you how you do this. It's going to show you things that you need to verify if you haven't verified it yet. Um, mine's pretty much verified. It's just I don't have a phone at this point, so I don't verify my phone. But as you can see, you can verify your Facebook account, your Twitter account, your um, bank account, and your phone number. Like I said, I don't have a phone. So I haven't done this. I don't all the others except the phone number because I don't currently have a cell phone. Okay, so then we're going to go down to goals. These are goals that are really crazy to me because I can never complete them. Some of them want you to sell items more than one at once sometimes. It's crazy. Okay, these are my current goals. Um, there's get 3,000 bonus points when you buy credits today, which I never do because it's a waste of money. Um, there's list and auction, which I've done. As you can see, there's a check beside it. And there's invite a friend, which I gave up inviting all my friends because none of them have referred to me at all. So now we're going to go back down. Um, there's perks. And here's your safe searches. Like I showed you before, when I went to save searches, this will have all the searches that you have saved, but there's a catch to this. You can only have five, right? There's five. There's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. You can only have five saved searches. So you have to choose which searches you want saved. So you get emails um, from the site with your new save searches email. Just choose very wisely on which ones you want to be emailed to you every day. Okay, so that's that. Here are the badges. I'm gonna go through these one by one. You will start adding up badges like crazy, trust me. Okay, that is your bank account validation badge. This is your wings badge. Um, I'm pretty sure you get, I think that you get this um, after you sell a certain number of items, you get your wings badge. This is seller wings. Um, this one you have to have like good um, comments and stuff like that to have a good seller's badge. These are very hard to get, trust me. This is a Twitter for just connecting your Twitter account. This is training wheels. I don't remember where I got this one. It's so hard. This is for the app. <clears throat> if you have an iPhone, um, iPad, any iOS device, there's an app for it. Um, for Android, I'm not sure because I don't have an Android app. But if you have an Android app, I would just go and search and see if you have it yet. Here is positive feedback uh, level three. Um, you got to have like a certain number of positive feedback from your buyers um, to get this badge. I'm a level three because I'm, I have pretty good standing with my buyers at this point. 
This is auctions level two. I've done a few auctions. Um, I want to say I've done probably about 20 auctions, so I'm pretty good. Comments level two. Um, this is just for like, if you're commenting on to your buyer or your seller. It, that's pretty much what that is. Um, this one is feedback received. That's a good one. Um, feedback given, as I discussed earlier. King of the Hill, level one. I have no idea where I got that one. I'm sorry. I have no idea. Auctions one, level three. This is for if you just win auctions. That's it. You get a badge for that. Uh, next is goal completed. I did get a few goals completed, but I just gave up after a while when I knew it was not reachable at all. Um, Twitter followers, volume uh, level five. Um, yes, I guess some of my followers saw I was, um, doing stuff on this and they joined, I guess. Um, check-ins. Check-ins is when you come in and you check on your account or you check in on your listings and stuff like that. That's why mine's on level eight. I do a lot of check-ins. Fans. Um, this is where you can, somebody likes your auctions or just likes you as a person, they can fan you. So they always know what you're doing. Um, auctions watchers. Um, this is what well, I'm going to show you in a few minutes where you can watch an auction so you never miss out on the auction. Next is movie watcher. That's, I believe, is from watching videos, which is the number one thing I do. Here is Night Owl. That's me to a T. I'm up all night doing stuff like this. Um, New Year today, they just they give you a badge for holidays. What can I say? So I, so level two. So that's my second New Year. That's Groundhog's Day, Valentine's Day, um, St. Patrick's Day, April Fool's Day, Earth Day, Fourth of July, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Happy Fifth Birthday to the city. They've been on here a while. Happy sixth birthday, stuff like that. See, here are some badges I have not got yet. I haven't gotten verified because I don't have a phone and I have a phone number. Clean sweep, I don't know how you get that one. The city of Plus number, yeah, that was not happening because you got to pay for a lot of stuff. Um, charity donations, um, local pickup for auctions. I don't do that. Auctions flagged level. Referrals and premium cash. Yeah, that one's not happening. <laughs> so sorry. So now I'm going to show you how you can search something and add it to your watch list. So let's do this thing. Just let me check something really quick over here. So next I'll show you a watch list and how you can add stuff to your watch list in just a second. Please stand by. Okay, next I'm going to show you how you can add things to your watch list. Like I said, we're just going to go browse and I'm just going to look at a few things that I think might be cool. Let's go to pet. We haven't done pet yet. Like I said, once you sign up for this website, um, you can go through all of these if you want to, to check out what they have. Um, <clears throat> Just be careful of um, people who try to spam you for certain things. Um, if an auction looks too good to be true, it probably is. And I would stay away from those. And I would report to those auctions right away if I were you. That is what I've done. I don't deal with people who try to spam people out of their hard-earned... Why are you saying that? Um, I don't... Okay. Let's see what it's going to do here. Okay, I'm going to try to reload this and see if it will get me back there again. Just try to bear with me. I know we've been here for a few minutes now, a very long few minutes, but I'm trying my best um, to get my thumbs up to work with me. There we go. Um, sometimes this will happen, but you, usually if you just refresh it, it's totally cool. 
So depending on which pet you have, that's the section you need to look at. Um, they have bird, cat, dog, fish, reptile, and other. I don't want to know what other is. I'm a little scared about that one. <laughs> so since I just have a dog, I'm going to look in the dog section as soon as it finishes loading here. I think we're almost there. Okay. So now we're going to go to the dog section, which is right here. And we're going to click on that and it should take us to all dog auctions. It's going to be like dog toys, clothing, all kinds of stuff like that. So we're just going to wait for it to load and I'm going to do the same thing as before where I show you if you're gonna get it now or free shipping, stuff like that. Because this is what I do every time I go looking for things and I add it to my watch list. I'm gonna show you how I do that in just a second as soon as it finishes loading. And I think that's the last thing I'm gonna show you today. Cause this has been a very long video for you, I'm sure. So I'm just gonna show you a few more things and then I'll be out of your way. And I'll leave it up to you if you want to sign up for this website or not. So I'm just waiting for it to load. It should be almost there. I apologize again for my internet being so slow. I did not expect it to be this slow. So... Just waiting for it to load. Hopefully it'll load in the next few seconds. But I'm just hoping you are bearing with me to see the rest of this video. I did not anticipate my internet being this slow. But we're just going to go with it and see what happens. Okay, there we go. Saying dog now. Is that a pet? What is that? Aquarium. Oh, right. I forgot to, <laughs> to tell you about this. Um, these are featured um, listings. They do at least two or three on the top that don't go with anything that you're trying to look for. Sadly. Um, as you can see, they're in blue. So if you see blue auction at the top and it's not what you're looking for, those are usually featured auctions that they put on top because that's what people look at first. So we're just going to go down, skip that. <laughs> As you can see it's in blue. It's no. Okay. I'm going to click the free shipping like I always do. And I'm going to fret the load and it should show free shipping items only. That way it will take the um, search results down. And you don't have to worry about paying anybody to have it shipped. Which is something you don't want to do. Okay, bear with me. It has gone down. I'm going to refresh it. And it should bring it back up. So please bear with me while I try to get my computer and internet to work with me. Okay, as you can see, oh wow, that's a extra small fashion jumpsuit for your dog by Martha Stewart. Yeah, I don't do that to my job. I don't do that to Koji. I'm sorry. I'm not going to dress him up in a jumpsuit. Okay, that ain't happening. Um, there's blankets. Um, see, here's a thunder shirt right here. I have one for Koji because it is a must-have for your dog if... Your dog is scared of like thunder or fireworks, even works for anxiety. So that is something I would suggest you get. We have a dog like that. It's a dog toy. I don't know what the hell that is. So. Um, for mine, I have to get something like very durable because he's a mini tornado because he's a Jack Russell Terrier. Um, that's a dog shirt. See, I get shirts for Koji. That's about it. Nothing else. Dog dishes. I might get dog dishes. 
Let's look at these dog dishes. See, I'm going to show you how you can add it to your watch list, read all this stuff the um, seller says, and all the pictures. The pictures are the best way to sell your items if you're going to list anything. Okay. So they only have two pictures here. That looks kind of weird, but hey. Okay. You can also earn 10 more credits by sharing this to Twitter. Um, what I usually do, if I want to get it really bad, I don't share this to my social media. I keep it to myself. Okay, it says, set of two plastic dong dishes holds two cups of dry food or for small breed, which that's what Koji is. Most likely a cup of, a, likely a cup for larger breeds. I can only go by my 13 pound, jeez, who uses small breed. Okay. All the city rules apply, free shipping and tracking to verified addresses only. Yeah, when you first sign up, they're going to give you rules that you have to follow with the price that don't, don't spam people and be nice. <laughs> Praise the girls. Um, yeah, if you get an email from somebody and it didn't come from this website and it's saying, I bought your item or I'm selling you this item, don't answer that email. It's probably spam and they're not verified through this site. Um, the only way you can know if they're verified, if it comes through this site through email comes from through the city app by email, they're verified. That's simple. Um, so what you want to do, you can go down here and you're going to see questions and comments. People asking for a GIN, that's the get it now um, price. Sorry, no, I don't do GINs, great auction. This means follow and watching and bidding at the end. She replies, thank you, good luck with bidding. Okay, I'm going to show you how you add this. See, it says add to watch us here. You see there's 15 people watching. It's from this area, and it's free shipping to the United States. Always make sure wherever you live, if it's in the United States or not, make sure it says free shipping and it has your country on there. Because if not, you're going to pay for money or they don't want to ship it there. So we're going to add to watch this. So it's on the watch list already. Then we go down here. You can share it to Twitter if you have your account on there already. So what I do, because you can do it to Facebook as well. What I do is I refresh it and see if Facebook will come up or not. Sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. Like now. I do Pinterest. I'm not on Pinterest. I really... Don't care about Pinterest. <laughs> and I got one more, I believe I got one more thing to show you in just a second. Okay, we're back on my home page here. And there's just one last thing I want to show you before this tutorial is over. I know it's been a long tutorial, but trust me, once you get used to this website, it's going to feel like second nature to you if you sign up. So if you have a listing like I do, which just says it's over 10,000, which is over my budget, you want to click on that so it takes you to that auction and I'm going to show you how you remove it from your list. So it's not there no more, so it bugs the hell out of you like it does me. Okay, this is an Avon beautiful engagement set, size eight, which is my ring size, by the way. That's my ring size. They have kind of small fingers. So we're just going to this a load, and I'm going to show you. Look how pretty that is, dude. That is so pretty, right? I fell in love with it as soon as I saw it, but now it's over my budget. So now I'm just going to remove it. As you can see here, it says remove from watch list. You just click that. And it's not going to be on your page anymore. So you want to go back up here, click My Lucidia, and it'll take you back to that page we were just on, and it will show you it's not there anymore. And as you see, it's not there. Um, I want to show you um, the blocked people. <laughs> I block, I, I don't block many people. Um, I just block people if they have nasty comments 
or they're just being out rude, mean, rude, and mean to me. So that's the only reasons um, I block people on any site, really. So you want to go to blocked. Um, I should show you how to block, but I'm going to show you the people I have blocked. I'm sorry, my dog was doing things. Um, I blocked these two people um, because they were saying very nasty comments um, to me if I was buying from them or I was selling to them. They were both mean and rude, and it was very uncalled for. What I did is I blocked them and I reported them because it was so mean. Um, so let's go back to browsing. And we're just going to go to a random user. I'm not going to block them. I'm just going to show you how you could block them if you wanted to. So let's go to Scooby-Doo. Whatever that is. Honestly, I can't tell you what that is. It's like a leash. Why would somebody say Linyard? What the hell is that? To me, it looks like a leash. Maybe it looks different to you. But to me, it just looks like a leash. Like I walk Koji on all the time. Okay. So when you come here. Seriously, you call it a lean yard? That's like a leash to me. Am I wrong? If this is not a leash, go in the comments section and tell me it's not a leash and I'll believe you. Trust me, I will. But to me, this looks... Like a leash. I don't know why it's called a linyard. I don't know. Let's see if they got one picture though. Yeah, it looks like a leash for Evan Six. That's like a leash to me. What? <laughs> okay. It's saying a linyard, but it's called a leash, people. I swear to God, it's a leash. It's 18 inches long. But here's what you want to do if you want to block somebody because they've been mean and nasty and you don't want them on you. You can also go here. You can become a fan of theirs, but you want to go right here to where their name is. Click on that and it will take you to their profile and page. And like I say, we're almost done. This is the last thing I'm going to show you and that'll be it for today's video. I promise. So this is the last thing I want to show you. As you can see, there's all these things here. They have they have a hundred percent satisfaction looks like, which is really good. You always want to have a higher satisfaction than negative rate because that is what people go by if they're going to bid from your auction or not. This person is called Our Puppies Twenty Fifteen. It's a cool name. You want to go here and click block user, which I'm not going to do. Because I don't want to block this person. I don't know this person. But you would block you would block the user and it would as you can confirm and you confirm and that's how you block them. So then Okay guys, just one more thing I wanted to show you was how to list an item. So you want to go list item, which I just clicked right there. So we're gonna load, go to this item, and this is what it will bring up. Um, you just click on the title right here of what your item is. Like if it's jewelry or something, just click a title. And then you're going to go down here where it says category. You're going to select a category for whatever it is. And then you're going to do photos. You've got to have photos so it will have more appeal to your buyers and it will hopefully sell a lot faster. You can put as many photos on here as you want. I see buyers, I mean sellers that have like 20 plus pictures on here. Um, then you're going to write a description. You must have a description on the item you are selling or the people who run the website are going to question you about it because you don't have very much description. And your listing type, are you going to do an auction or are you going to do a fixed price where the GIN is? If you can get a GIN, you would click fixed price, GIN, how much ever you want to be. 
Um, and then you want to go down to shipping. Item will be shipped or is it local pickup? So say we're going to do an auction. You're going to see advanced options. You can see the starting bid. Um, it's free. It won't cost you any credits if it's $4.99 or below. But if it's higher, it's going to cost you, I believe, 50 credits to do that. Um, you, if you have the GIN on your account, you can click here to allow it. The number of days varies. You can go from 3 to 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 days. I always do mine for the max. That way it has more time for my buyers to get it. And if it doesn't sell, you can automatically relist it. It will do it for you so you don't have to. And then once you're done, you don't have to put your uh, exact address on here. Um, when I sell an item, I just put that I am in Florida, and that's it. Then you just click Submit, and it'll be up and running in no time. Okay guys, that's it for today's tutorial. I know it was a long tutorial, but I hope you learned something from this tutorial. If you want to sign up for that website, go right ahead. I'll leave the link in the description below. So that's it for today's tutorial. I hope this helps you out a lot if you're going to sign up for this um, website and have fun on it because that's what it's there for. Um, all my, e my email list and all my social media will be in the description below. Thank you.